You know, when I woke up, I didn't expect to read an article from a so-called comedian that was nominated for an Emmy writing for the gamer with his take on I'm an idiot. You know, there's just some days you gotta sit there and laugh and try and understand where these journalists are really going. This article would, hi, I'm an idiot who's mad about everything in video games except the layoffs. Oh my God. This is uh, an absolute take from the one Mike Drucker over the situation that we've been seeing in and around the video games industry. Yaksuke uh, of Assassin's Creed Shadows over Stellar Blade, over Warhammer, over the entirety of what's going on in the industry and how gamers are just plain tired and sick of the DEI push in and around video games. Now, before we get fully into the article here, please subscribe to the channel. Do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button today. Who cares about people losing their livelihoods when Assassin's Creed has a black protagonist? Okay, uh, many people have spoken about the layoffs, myself included. I've covered quite a bit about them. Uh, I've started to feel like I hate video games. I never thought I'd say those words, but here we are. The hobby I love my whole life is being ruined by greedy decisions made by selfish people. Whether throughout evil or stupidity, video games are being destroyed by the very people who claim to make them. As much as I want to say, say excited and engaged as a fan, I'm afraid with some of these corporate decisions have made me want to leave gaming entirely. I'm disgusted, I'm upset, I'm offended. Well, that's not entirely what's going on here. People aren't upset or offended by the situations that they're doing with video games. They just want their video games and not be told that they are the absolute scum of the earth. They, I want to play a video game to lose myself in these video games. I don't want to play a video game and get told that I'm racist for not playing the video game. Get told that because the video game's not made for me, I'm no longer the target audience of video games. 3.3 billion people on the planet play video games. Oh, but, but, no, no, we're not talking about the layoffs at all. Let's talk about the layoffs that nobody really cares about, right? Wait, layoffs? What layoffs? No, I'm sorry, let me clarify. I'm an idiot who's mad at everything in video games except for the layoffs. Well, let's take a look. Well, recently, you know, I talked about how Sony and Square Enix uh, were forcing layoffs. Sony had 900 layoffs, Square Enix on top of that were laying off. Uh, also, Take-Two had layoffs. And then you've got to ask the question, was narrative design behind that? As well as Hasbro did a bunch of layoffs too. I've covered layoffs not as the straight up part of the videos. I've covered it throughout the entire videos on this channel. The, the layoffs have affected the market very much so. I remember here in Edmonton, I even talked about Bioware, how they laid off keyword studios talking about, he goes on with thousands of people in video games industry losing their jobs, including developers who successfully games. I think the energy is best spent elsewhere. Well, we're talking about everything on here, but of course what happens is the drama. The controversies is what bubbles to the top, and that's what the algorithms push. Most of us in the gaming sphere here talk about these things and talk about how these one thing has led to another, has led to these layoffs, and why a lot of us are very vocal about it. I think my energy is best spent elsewhere, namely making endless series of 90 minute long videos in which I call every popular piece of media woke unless it features Gina Carano because she was let go from Disney over having a take that was against the narrative. She's suing Disney, by the way. Uh, and see, that's a woman, so you can't even call me sexist because I can name at least one. Oh my God. How condescending is this jackass? Assassin's Creed did what now? The, the thing is, oh, that's, what's ruining games isn't corporate greed shutting down studios that hit every possible milestone, and it's definitely not experienced people being forced out of the industry while young talent finds it increasingly hard to make a consistent living. You know why 
people can't make a consistent living because they come out of college with there's these gender study degrees and try to inject that into these video games and then the video games falls flat on its face and doesn't do anything and the companies lose money and then they lay off and the cycle continues they hire a grad right out of uh, right out of college because they can hire them cheap put them to work let them write a shit ass game then they get laid off right afterwards you think there's a trend here? You, you, you think the layoffs have something to do with everything people are talking about? That's right, your shock is the same as mine. I clutch my pearls so tight, they left the circles in my palms. You know what this this screams? The, the, the scene from The Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey, where he's yelling out to the, uh, the echo and it says, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Well, he goes on, if anything, I'm uh, the calm one here. I don't give Elon Musk $8 a month because I'm a sucker who needs to needs a father figure. I pay money because I believe in free speech and I'm going to keep typing before the gerbil in the ball that is my brain accidentally get, hits upon what I'm saying. It is the other social people and social media who are mean. They accuse me of being racist and sexist, but let me ask you, does constantly whining about the existence of people of color and women make me sex and racist and sexist? Tell me how that makes sense. You wanna know how that makes sense? Because the companies that sit there, they build these games and then they call us racist when we don't play the game. We sit there and tell, you know, we're trying to relay the message here. A lot of people are trying to relay the message here and say, don't do this because it's going to perform poorly on the market conditions and lead to layoffs by you not wanting to actually protect or tell the real stories of what's going on. By telling the, the customer that if you don't play this, you are racist. If you make any criticism about the, this, you're sexist. That's the difference here. It's this catch-all and it's been spoken about in the past i think it was the one arnita sarkeesian that actually made the point that people are using this as a shield the one person that mo majority of us sit there and go no this is not good by enhancing and using that shield to say uh no matter what we do here we're the right ones no you're not this is absolutely pathetic I'm sorry if you want to talk more about Assassin's Creed. No, I'm already over that. I forgot that game existed five seconds ago when the former game designer Pushing 60 told me to be mad at Next. First, there was a game journalist I've never heard of until they wrote a couple articles that someone on Reddit said I wouldn't like. They've done more damage to the industry than any corporate executive ever could. Before the journalist popped into existence fully formed, games uh, were all Aryan med and robot women would basically enhance virgin bones. Now look at games. Do we need really need more games like Baldur's Gate 3? Wow, this guy really does th think he's uh, highly of himself. Taking shots of, I'm guessing, Mark Kern, uh, ex-Blizzard employee at this point, or ex-Blizzard lead, uh, someone that's been around the industry for a very long time when things like this didn't matter at all, when things were inclusive and very diverse and everyone lived on with their lives just relating and playing with video games the way everyone was. Now there's this whole new train of thought that you got to go out there and say, oh, now it's Aryan men in video games. What well, apparently he sees nothing but World War II bad guys in video games of today or of yesterday you know history is a thing of the past uh, do we really need more games like Baldur's Gate 3 is this a pox shot at me seriously is this a pox shot at me I don't know because you know I've talked about Baldur's Gate 3 how the game became a sex induced romantic game instead of a D&D &D dungeon crawler that it was supposed to be anyway I've read enough of that gamer article it's absolutely pathetic that this so-called comedian is going to go out there and try and make light of everything that's going on in the games industry try and turn it into a big joke that's what these people do isn't it they just try to fluff it off when when things get desperate when people 
like myself and many others in the industry right now are saying, what you're doing here is wrong. Using someone, someone's attributes or their skin color to promote your video game, to create more of a victimhood, to say, oh, woe on me. Oh, but if you don't play their game now, you're a racist. It's absolutely pathetic what we're seeing from corporations right now, what we're seeing in the video games industry. And this journalist or this comedian, whatever he wants to call himself, has an absolute crap take. Have yourselves a great day. I'm your Prod Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.